In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the Acid Pro workspace. When I first opened up Acid Pro, the workspace intimidated me greatly. There are a lot of things here, and it looks pretty complicated. And if you scroll around and look at the timeline, you've got all of these gadgets and labels and bars over here, and it just seems really overwhelming. But I want to encourage you not to feel that way. It's easy to get the hang of it, and it's really fun. So let's start up the top with the menu. Just like most Windows and Macintosh programs, Acid Pro has a menu. Many of these should be familiar to you. File, Edit, View, Help. These are menu items that you might find in any program. Like other programs, the menus are organized into functional areas. File deals with files. You can create new files, close them, save them, render them, and so forth. Edit has to do with editing functions. This is also where you'll find your undo and redo. Grayed out menus are not available. So this is basically kind of the bread and butter of where all your different tools and options are and where you'll access the settings for things. That's one way of doing things. Another way is using the toolbar. You've got cut, copy, paste, you've got some file operations over here. You've got other buttons where if you let your mouse hover over them, you can see a tooltip pop up. Toolbar is a pretty convenient way. For example, if I want to enable inline editing, I can just click the button. Instead of having to go up to a menu, it takes a little less energy. Here we have our time position and our measure and beat. This is where the cursor would be at in this file or song. So here we're at 48 seconds, measure 19, beat 1. As you play your song, you'll notice that those values change. It's always updating. Over here we have our track list. Each one of these items is really a duplicate of the others in terms of its functionality. They all have the same kind of buttons. Volume sliders, pan sliders, arming for recording, what bus it's going through, whether we have a track effect supplied and automation. You can also mute or solo the track. This is a track folder where I have all my percussion conveniently located in a folder. That kind of helps manage the overall track view. You slide over a little bit and go into the timeline. This is where all the waves are, where we put our MIDI clips. Basically it's where we organize our music. You can see as I'm playing, the timeline's going along, showing us exactly where we are in the song. It's really fun to watch songs play on the timeline because you can see what's coming and it's just a, a view you don't get when you're playing a song through a standard like CD player. I really like that. Each one of these clips represents a loop or a recording where we can move them around add, subtract, you cut, paste, enlarge or shrink to achieve whatever musical effect we want. Also have the controls here which allow us to stop, play, go to the start and so forth. Now at the bottom of the screen we've got a series of dockable windows which serve various purposes. This is the Explorer, which allows us to navigate on our computer where we can drag and drop loops into our project. Also got the Media Manager, which is a convenient way to organize our loops and search for different loops based on certain criteria. If you wanted to search for all guitar loops you have, you click Guitar, and so forth. A lot of different ways to search. You've got the Groove Pool, where you can associate certain grooves with your tracks and make a normal sounding eighth note beat turn it into a jazz or hip hop beat. That's really cool too. 
can turn on certain things like video preview, which shows up in the bottom here. Right now we're not playing a video, so we don't see anything. You can also close these out. So you've got three major areas here to work with. You've got your track list, where you work with your tracks. you got your timeline, which is where you're actually creating your song or your video. You've got the bottom area of the screen, which contains various tools for you to use in different applications. All right, I think we can wrap this lesson up. You should now be able to navigate your way around the Acid Pro workspace.